Hi guys, this coming out of CNN. I heard about this on the radio this morning. A Texas judge was shot outside her home. Um, I don't want to make this into a blame her for this or blame her for that, but anytime you get shot outside your home, and especially if it happened, if if the page claims it happened the way the radio claimed it happened, um, there's going to be an issue and. You don't get killed outside your home in a vehicle, which is what the radio had said. And I don't remember what channel I was listening to or what channel was playing at the time. Um, anyways, so basically, you don't get killed outside your home getting into your car or pulling out of your driveway unless you really fucked up. Now, I hope this judge went her entire career without harming a single soul, but... I kind of don't think that that was true. Just kind of a quinky dink that I don't think that that is true under the current system of management alone. Now, I hope she didn't deserve it, but luckily she is recovering, uh, so hopefully she gets a speedy recovery. That's all I know from the situation. So let me go ahead and get to this. Texas judge shot outside her home. Uh, da -da -da -da, doesn't even. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so it's Travis County District Judge Julia or Julie uh, Kokurk, Kokurk was struck around 10:15 p.m. Friday near her house in Texas Capital Terrytown neighborhood, said Austin Police Lieutenant Lee Rogers. Hey, Rogers, cool. The judge was last listed in stable condition at a nearby hospital said the police lieutenant told CNN Saturday morning Austin police commander Mark Sprangler told reporter that officers arrived about five minutes after the 911 call which Kokrick was taken to University Medical Center uh, Brackenridge according to video posted Austin American statesman's website uh, this injury, although extremely serious, does not appear to be life-threatening at this time. Uh, as she recovers, authorities are trying to track down who shot her and why. I think they, I think on the radio they said they already got her in custody. I'm not going to go into her history because that's not what I'm here to do. Uh, from what I understand, and I could be wrong, um, there, there was. A little bit of discrepancy in the story um, when I heard it. She was attacked via her car um, after she had gotten into it. Um, that's basically what they said. And there was um, reports of glass and shrapnel uh, that had to be removed at the hospital, but she was recovering. So it kind of sounds like somebody... I don't know, jumped on the hood with a baseball bat or something, started hitting the glass. I mean, it doesn't sound like somebody would, you know, shoot into the uh, vehicle. Because if you're going to shoot into a vehicle, most of those hmm, glass features, from what I understand, are almost 50% bulletproof just so that when you hit a car in front of you, <laughs> the glass doesn't shatter. So, I know bulletproof is probably a bad term, but you guys get the idea. They're very, very solid, very, very, and they're made of like several layers of glass and composites thereof. So, if you've ever had to take one out for one reason or another, which is actually a cool experience. Um, somebody I know in high school during an automotive class uh, got to do that, and I was watching at the time. And they had the plastic and everything already um, around the dashboard and around the seats and everything. So what the instructor told the person to do and two of his buddies, since they were lightweights, and I had just walked in from something, so I didn't get to participate in this. And I'm not sure how much a hood could hold and everything. But anyways, the part of the class, you know, was able to get the... Uh, the glass piece off and replace it but they couldn't 
so they had to kind of crack it or something and it, it was pretty interesting to watch but I know from back then that you know that glass is like that thick or so or, uh, that thick or so and it's made of several layers of plastic or some kind of composite so if you are going to attack somebody in a vehicle uh, you get the idea this was not fun for her and whoever did this is probably very very screwed uh... when i first when i first heard about this i thought she had been shot in her vehicle i said well if she had been shot close range she should be dead i mean but evidently she wasn't shot so who knows what the original story was but you guys get the idea. Thank you.